And a good day, all of you. John Henderson here of the Beverage Ramble. Back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Atlanta Brewing Company. Soul of the City. American Pale Ale. American Pale Ale style. 5.7% ABV. Uh, picked this up the other day. I noticed, um, I guess I should have been more aware of this. Since I live up here now in Georgia, in the Atlanta area. Um... Oh yeah, back to this beer, 5.7% um, ABV, uh, 3.6 out of 5 on untap, um, 86 score on Beer Advocate. Um, when I did my last Atlanta beer review, I think it might have been the uh, Sour, it might have been the Ocean Golden Ale, it might have been one of the two. Um, the beer went through some changes, they closed its doors, uh, their... They're going to be relocating to a newer, more state-of-the-art location in downtown Atlanta or somewhere close to it. But the beer is still being made by another brewer in the in the city. Which one that is, nobody knows. But um, but it used to be called um, Red Brick Brewing Company. So did not know that. So I guess I should have been more aware of that. So, Mr. Pierre. Um, like I said the only beers I've done from them is the is the three I think with the Ocean Golden Ale, um, along with the Mori Sting uh, IPA and their Stingray Sour. Those beers was a collaboration with the brewing company and the Georgia Aquarium in promoting um, um, conservation of uh, oceanic life. So. Um, but anyway, and then of course the homestand um, auger that I did, um, but that has the Atlanta Braves logo on it. That was probably, those are probably from the four I've done. I very rarely get them, but I got this anyway. Uh, I've had this um, in my refrigerator for a good many of days now. Uh, so I said, let me take it out. It looks very orangey. So I'll make sure the beer date was fresh. Hard to see right now. the date guys I need the date 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 okay there it is okay so it says okay so July July of 21 2022 okay so a couple of months later. but anyway it's been it's canned so a couple of months back so there Let's see, it looks kind of like an orange juice here but It mentions in the description it has some hops. Citra was one of the hops that was in this, in this pale ale. What's the difference between a pale ale and an IPA? Really, Indian pale ale. I guess it more depends on the hops. If you're using a lot more hops, and tend to be more. But we're probably mirror, mirroring the same, a pale ale and a, and a IPA. I guess it all depends on the hops. I guess they they use more hops. They use hops, but the amount of hops is less versus an IPA, where they use more hops. That's the best description I could say. There's between a pale ale and an IPA, India pale ale. So, has a nice little scent to it, so let's have at it. Yeah. Okay, there it is. I sneezed, so I don't edit my videos, so I just run with the show as is. You see it, what you see. You know, no filter. It does have a little cereal taste to it, a little oat taste. Flake oats, something like that. And it has a little grapefruit sort of vibe that I'm getting right now from this. Again, it's again it's, it's was not in a bottle, so it's in a can, so we know it's going to be fresh, even though it's a couple of months. But it will be fresh nonetheless.
I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's good. Um, it's not hoppy. Um, it's not grabbing me right away. Um, I mean, it's decent. I mean, it's good. And it's nice and refreshing. But um, um, I've had some other better, other pills that are a lot better. Um, of course, to me, obviously, Sarah Nevada stands out, obviously. That is the standard, and uh, if you want to throw in, um, well, hmm, New Belgium had a pill ale called, the, I think it was the Paddle. Um, I think that's still being made by them, but uh, but it's um, that was an enjoyable one. But and then I had the Fairhope, um, um, their pill ale, whatever that was, I forgot. For Farrell Brewing Company, the 51 Pale Ale. I thought those two were really... I think that, but without question, Sarah Nevada. Yeah, 51 Pale Ale by, um, by Farrell Brewing Company. But to me, Sarah Nevada still stands out as probably the one that's really, really quite good. Um, there's nothing bad about this. I just think there's just, there's just this, this grapefruit vibe taste that I'm having, I'm like, mm, I can't, can't really escape it, it's not overtaking the beer, but maybe in a way it is, I'm not feeling the 5% yet, so probably later on, but, um, like I said, decent, um, I, I wish the brewery well, I hope they, you know, get back, uh, they do put out some good stuff, like I said, I tried those other beers that I mentioned, beginning of the video um that i've had and i have not been disappointed from though from any of the four i've tried um and hopefully that, that they're, they continue putting out more stuff and um i've noticed the website has shut down so there's nothing really being done but i'll look at other things i can use to put info on this but i already got the what i need um like i said this is a good the citra hops are there it's nice. It's refreshing. I mean, that grapefruit thing is just really kind of, I guess it's a good thing. Maybe. I don't know. It's not sour. Yeah, like I said, it's like that overwhelming grapefruit vibe I'm getting from this. So, I mean, it's, it says take on the classic style. I don't know. Like I said, it ain't Sarah Nevada, let's put it that way. So, um, I'm going to be, like I said, it's good, it's refreshing, it's nice. It's the, the grapefruit thing is just, I'm kind of so-so on it. So, anyway. So, Atlanta Brewing, uh, Soul of the City, American Pale Ale. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm not going to go 86, so I'm just probably... I go 82 on this one, so 8.2. You know, it's like I said, it's okay. It ain't great, but it's okay. So 8.2 for the Atlanta Brewing Company sold the city. Uh, the brewery is still in business. It's not gone. It's still being made. Hopefully, it'll be back in, in a newer location, and um, and they'll keep putting out some really good beers. And the company's been around since 1993, so. Hey, things happen, as it is in business and life, you know. You take it as it comes, you get knocked down, you get up, and you keep going. So, that's the message. So, anyway, 8.2 for the soul, that would be a B. For the soul of the city, American Pale Ale, check it out. You may like, you may not. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Rambleton. Keep on watching, as always, cheers, live, laugh, and love. Soul of the city. Hell, hell. Enjoy.